welcome back to my channel. Wow, it feels like forever since I actually sat down and had time to film a video for you guys and I am so excited to finally be back. Things have settled down a little bit since the wedding. As you guys know, I got married almost three months ago now and um, things were just so crazy before the wedding and even after the wedding and now things are starting to ramp up again because my wife and I just actually went under contract for our very first house which is so exciting but to say things have been crazy around here is just a massive understatement. So I apologize for the lack of videos on this channel recently, but I have still been daily vlogging, and so if you'd like to kind of keep up with my day-to-day -day life, feel free to follow me over there. I'll leave it in the cards up there, I forget which side it's on. But yeah, anyways, today I have a huge Sephora play unboxing for you guys. I, since obviously have not been getting play unboxings up for you guys on this channel, I thought I would save them all up and just do one big unboxing of the last four months of Sephora play up boxes. So we have quite a lot of ground to cover today. So without further ado, let's just dig right in. All right, so the first box I'm going to start with is from May 2017, and it is called The Rising Stars, and their little like pamphlet thing that comes in every box looks like this. And then the box, or the little like, bag that it comes in, is actually a little different this month. It's in like a vinyl snap closure bag, and normally they're in little like kind of cotton drawstring ribbon closure bags. So this was definitely something new. And it's kind of fun because it is a see-through bag, so you can kind of get a little sneak peek at what's inside. And then it has, you know, obviously play written all over in a bunch of different fonts. And so it's a cute little bag. It will be, I think it'll be really useful for like travel or stuff to store any, you know, liquids or something that you want to kind of keep protected. It's not fully enclosed, but I still think it would provide a nice little like travel bag for makeup and stuff like that. So I think I'll definitely be using this one. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna pull out of here is Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. So that's really fun. And the little bottle looks like that. It kind of just looks like a tiny little lip gloss. It feels really nice. It feels like nice, you know, it's not like plasticky, it's kind of metal. And yeah, I haven't used too many lip plumpers in the past, but this will definitely be really fun to try out. And it looks like a pretty nice one, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Next up, we have another perfume by Nest Fragrances. They frequently um, include Nest Fragrances. I've gotten a couple in the past in Sephora play boxes. This one is called Black Tulip. And let's see how this smells. It's pretty nice. I'm not a huge florally perfume person. I generally like more like, you know, fruity scents, I guess, but it definitely smells nice if you're into florals like that. I think it's it's not super sickeningly sweet, which is why I don't like a lot of florals, but yeah, I think it smells nice. Sorry if you can hear my dog. She's playing right next to me and is getting a little rowdy. <laughs> Let's see, next up. Oh, this confused the heck out of me when I first pulled it out of the box because obviously it looks like it is an open, like, you know, crayon pencil type thing, but no, that's just the cap. And I, so that's, I don't know, that's kind of fun. But it definitely, it really confused me. I was like, oh no, like it fell off, you know, while it was being shipped to me and I thought it was gonna be all over everything and ruined it, but nope, that's just the little cap. But this is the, let's see, Tray Stick Mini Highlighting Stick. I've never heard of that brand before, but obviously I'm a fan of their packaging and I always love a good highlighter. So it's, ooh, ooh, that's really nice. That went on super smooth. I hope you guys can kind of like see that. It's right there. But it's really like a nice, creamy, subtle highlighter. This might be my new favorite highlighter. I think I would kind of um, compare it to the Benefit High Beam Stick Highlighter, but this is definitely like a lot, it seemed a lot more creamy as I was applying it. And oh my gosh, and then blending it out. That looks so nice. Yeah, I am excited for this. All right, next up we have the Christophe Robin Scrub. Nope, that would be the French version. Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. That's English. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I definitely have been really liking scrubs recently. I recently started using it for the first time, like ever, you know, using body scrubs, and I really like it. I'm definitely a fan. And so, this will be fun to give a try. It smells really, really nice. It smells kind of like refreshing. Maybe a little bit of lemon in there. Let's see if it says a scent. Oh, hold on. This is for your hair. It says for sensitive or oily scalp. This purifying shampoo. Oh, it's a shampoo. Okay, so it's not a body scrub. It's, that's interesting. It says this purifying shampoo is ideal as a detox or post-coloring treatment. Apply on wet hair, massage the scalp, emulsify, then rinse. Okay, so that's interesting. I don't color my hair, but I don't know, it says it can be used as a detox too, so that'll be kind of interesting. I'm intrigued. 
All right, next we have, I'm trying to get through these pretty fast and not, you know, sit on one product too long so we don't have like a massively long video since we have four boxes to get through. So that's quite a lot of products. But yeah, next up we have the Resurfacing Mask by Tata Harper. And so I assume this looks like a face mask. It looks really fancy schmancy and like a little like sea glass looking bottle and a nice gold top. It feels really nice. It doesn't have too much of a scent to it, but this is what it looks like. It kind of has like an orange goopy <laughs> look to it. But I, yeah, I'm assuming it is a face mask that resurfaces. Obviously it says resurfacing mask, but that'll be interesting to try. I do really love face masks and so I'm always excited to try new ones and I don't think I have anything that claims to resurface my face, so that'll be fun to give a try. And the last thing in this month's box is the Milk Makeup, let's see what is this, Blur Stick. So I'm not exactly sure what that would do. I'm assuming it says in the little pamphlet, but this is kind of like what it looks like on the inside. It has a second protective thing. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do, but let's see if we can see in the packet that comes with the box. It's a blur thing by Milk Makeup. Matte coverage blurring stick smooths and primes all skin tones for makeup by minimizing the appearance of pores and fine lines. All right, so it's a primer, essentially. You put on before your foundation to kind of smooth things out and make a nice even surface. So I will definitely give that a try. And that finishes up May 2017's Sephora Playbox, and now we can move on to June. All right, June's box was called Your Summer Starters, and the little pamphlet looked like that. Cute little beach scene. And then they went back to the original style of their bags for this month, and so it's another little cotton ribbon closure bag, and it has some girls in bathing suits, and it says it's a summer state of mind on the front. That's kind of cute. Again, I keep all of these bags, but don't really have a use for them. I'm probably going to end up throwing them away soon because I'm just collecting quite the little collection, and they have no use for me so far. All right, anyways, the first thing I'm going to pull out of this month's bag is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent, and it's the monthly perfume. If you're familiar with Sephora Play, every month they give one perfume sample and then five other makeup samples, so you're always guaranteed to get a perfume sample. I'm not a huge perfume person, but it's always fun to kind of smell new scents if it's going to come anyways. All right, let's see. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, kind of tickled my nose though. <laughs> It's definitely sweet, but not like in a sickly way. I don't know, I really like it. Black opium, that's interesting. What's this supposed to smell like? When the electrifying energy of black coffee meets the assertive femininity of white flowers. Okay. <laughs> oh, there, okay, so it says black coffee accord, orange blossom, cedar wood, and patchouli. So that's interesting. I definitely like this one. And next we have, ooh. Benefit the poor professional and I've definitely heard a lot of good things about this product around YouTube And I have yet to give it a try and so I'm really excited to have this little Sample size to try it out for myself. So let's see if it has a description Pro bone to minimize the appearance of pores and so I think it's just like a primer that you put on before your uh, Foundation just like the other thing to kind of you know blur any you know pores or whatever imperfections you have on your face <laughs> So that will be nice to try out. Next we have a liquid lip it looks like by Kat Von D. I'm assuming it's a liquid lip and not, yeah, liquid lipstick. And so it's in this crazy purple color, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure I would ever wear, but I'll probably put it on just once to see <laughs> how it looks and kind of have fun and then take it right off because I'm not a kind of like bold color lipstick kind of girl. So maybe I'll find someone, one of my friends or someone who would like this, but yeah. I don't think I'll be wearing this. <laughs> okay, next up we have the Way Hair Care Rose Hair and Body Oil. So, let's see. This luxurious, fast-absorbing rose hair and body oil is a silicone-free fusion of nutrient-rich oils from all over the world that illuminates hair and skin as it restores moisture. So that's interesting. Can't say I've tried a hair or body oil before, but that'll be fun to try. I've gotten a couple other way hair products. I think I've gotten some in Sephora Play Boxes and then one in a Vox box from Influencer. And I've definitely liked a lot of their other products that I've tried, so I'm definitely uh, excited to try this out and see what I think. Then we have the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Oh, well, that's fun. 
So I believe I've tried the First Aid Beauty, um, I think their cleanser I got in a Sephora Play Box and I wasn't a huge fan. It really, like, it got in my eyes every time I washed my face and it really, really stung and that's not normally a problem I have. So I wasn't a fan of that. However, I am definitely intrigued that it's like a coconut oil, I assume, moisturizer? So it's like a primer and a moisturizer in one using coconut. And I use coconut oil to cleanse my face at night, so I, I don't know. I like using that. I don't know, so I, I'll definitely give it a try, see what I think. I like the fact that it's a primer and moisturizer in one, so I think that'd be a really good product to use in the morning right before you put on your makeup. It, you know, saves you a whole step by combining the two. So yeah, excited about that. And the last thing for this month is, ooh, the Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. And I actually have the full size of this. I got it in an Influencer Box box, and I really, really like it, but this will be nice to have like a travel size to bring with me on vacation or something like that. It basically does a really good job. I have trouble with like frizziness with my hair every once in a while, and so I found that the coconut oil gel does a really good job of kind of like taming that frizz and making everything sleek and smooth. And yeah, I definitely did kind of forget about it though, so I'm excited to like have this and remind me that I had it to use it. So yeah, I'm excited that I got another bottle of this. And that finishes up Sephora Play June 2017. Moving right along, we are halfway through this massive Sephora unboxing. And I'm really excited to like be done with all of these so I can actually use all these products now because they've just been sitting on my vanity like completely untouched. I would like open them when they got here and kind of take a quick little peek inside and then box them right back up so I could share them with you guys. And then, you know, the months went by and things were just too crazy to film. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to be able to actually use all of my Sephora Play products now. <laughs> All right, July's box is another kind of summer themed one. It is called Beauty Staycation. It has this cute little like pool scene on their pamphlet for the month. And then the bag is this cute little like pink and red gingham style. And it says, glam, glam, glamp out, glamp out. <laughs> so that's interesting. And then let's see what we have in here. First thing I'm gonna pull out is a product by Caudalie. I really like them, and this is their Serum or Glow Activating Anti Wrinkle Serum. So that's awesome. I'm definitely now that I'm reaching my late 20s, trying to be a little more conscientious of you know anti wrinkle products and you know incorporating them every now and then into my routine. I'm not like crazy obsessed with it, but it's something that I kind of like to keep in the back of my mind to slowly start incorporating into my skincare to obviously prevent wrinkles long term. And yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I've really liked their eye cream that I tried from another Sephora play box, and so I am excited to try this. I just think their products are, they feel really nice on the skin, they sink in really nicely, and so yeah, I'm really excited to give this a try. I'll probably slip this right into my skincare routine after I film this. And next we have Briogeo Rosarco Milk. Rosarco Milk? I assume that's how you say it. It is a reparative leave-in conditioning spray. It looks like that. And I can't say I've tried a leave-in conditioner before. And so I don't know, that'll be kind of nice. I feel like that might also help with the frizziness I was talking about earlier with my hair. So if I kind of have a particularly frizzy day, hopefully I can kind of just spray this in there and kind of, I don't know, flatten things down. That would be really nice. But I've used um, a hair mask from them before and it actually smelled really good. So I wonder if this, I don't know if I should just spray this into the room though. I wonder if this smells can't really smell it. I will let you guys know. <laughs> but next up, oh, we have another perfume by Clean. And I generally, I'm pretty sure I really like their perfumes. This is the Clean Reserve. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think it's called just Clean Reserve. I don't know. Perfumes are always so complicated with what they're like called. <laughs> I never like can get it. All right, let's see what this smells like. not such a huge fan of this. It's kind of like sharp, kind of like peppery, I guess. I don't know. Not a huge, huge fan. That's disappointing. But next up, we have Tarte. Looks like a lip product. It's called Set Sail, and it is, yeah, just a lipstick. And so it looks like that. Oh, it's a nice, like, deep shade, which is nice. Definitely, I would definitely wear this. Um, I would definitely wear a shade like this. It's not, you know, it's definitely on the more natural side of things, but not like a, you know, nude or pink. So yeah, I would definitely wear this. Let's see what it looks like. That's pretty. Yeah, I would totally, totally wear this. Kind of looks like that. It's a nice, like, kind of mauve -y, deeper 
well, I don't even know, I'm horrible at describing colors, but it's really pretty and I would definitely wear it, so I'm excited about this. And it has a really fun packaging, it's kind of like a light blue marbled packaging. It definitely feels kind of plastic, it doesn't feel like nicer like some of the other packages that we've gotten in the boxes, but yeah, it's definitely, I like the, I like the look of it. Alright, and next up, ooh, Bobbi Brown, definitely like their products. This is a mascara, interesting. Alright, so I'm not going to open that up because I like to like kind of open my mascaras as I need them since they have such a short, uh, short self, short shelf life, that's it, short shelf life, that sounds funny. Um, this is the, is it a specific, yeah, eye-opening mascara in just black, and so I'm really excited to try this. It's definitely a hefty mascara too, but I've heard, again, amazing things about Bobbi Brown products, and I've used some Bobbi Brown products that I really like, so excited to give this a try, and I'm a huge mascara junkie. I would have to say that is my favorite, favorite mascara, or favorite beauty product, and so, yeah, I'm excited about this. Last up for this month is, ooh, Rose Face Mask by Fresh, and it says it is infused with real rose petals and it hydrates and tones. And again, I love face masks because I think it's the most like, just relaxing, pampering thing you can do. I just, I love doing face masks. And so I don't think you can ever have too many options for face masks. I'm really excited to try this. I bet it smells super yummy. Let's see, ooh, that is interesting. It looks kind of like honey. I don't want to like tip it over too much to spill it. Hmm. It doesn't really smell all that much like roses, but definitely that's an interesting look. I mean, it looks like honey with kind of like little bits of maybe dried rose petals in it. That's really interesting. I am, I am intrigued by that one. All right, finishing this one up and we are on to our very last box. I think this kind of moved along nicely. I didn't want to make you sit here for 45 minutes while I was unboxing all my play boxes, but we are almost done. Okay, so the last box I'm going to unbox in this video for you guys is the August 2017 Play by Sephora box, and it is called... I'm actually not sure. It's not very obvious. Ah, oh, there it is. It's just on the inside. Elements of Beauty. It looks like that, and so it has definitely kind of like a play on the periodic chart with all sorts of different, you know, eh, coconut oil, jojoba oil, green tea, in different, you know, little boxes. That's kind of cute. And then the little bag this month. So I guess that, like plastic vinyl bag or whatever was just a one-time thing because they have went back to this this you know specific bag style for the next three months so that's kind of disappointing because I kind of liked the you know the fact that they mixed things up and I liked the style of that bag I think it would be a little more useful than these but oh well um so the design of this bag it says makeup geek and then it just has you know clearly like a girl and glasses and then you know playing with all sorts of beakers and you know sciencey stuff and so inside this one let's see what we got we're going to start with the, she or the um, perfume again, and this is Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I feel like I'm going to have the weirdest scent around me after filming this video from like spraying all these different perfumes, but luckily this one doesn't look like it actually sprays. It's just a little stopper kind of bottle. Let's see if I can carefully... There we go. Oh, I like this. It definitely smells like citrusy. It smells really, really good. I would totally wear this one. Floral fruity, so that's interesting. I definitely didn't smell any floraliness, but I'm also not the most, you know, knowledgeable person when it comes to perfumes, but I smelled citrus and it smelled really nice to me. All right, and next up, oh, this is fun. I like when they send little, like, actual products instead of, um, you know, like, makeup. I think it's fun. So I actually already have this, though, but this is the Beauty Blender, like, the tiny version of the Beauty Blender. Let's see if it has a name. Micro Mini, the Micro Mini Beauty Blender. And so I think this is good for like, you know, applying stuff like, you know, under your eyes, like blending your concealer or something under your eyes, or I don't know, I've heard people use it for like serums and stuff like that. So yeah, I think it's really fun. I actually haven't ever used mine, so I will definitely have to get around to giving this a try now that I have two and see if I like them. And next we have something by Clarins, Body Fit Anti-Cellulite Contouring Expert. Visibly smooths, firms, and lifts. So, I don't know. I'm not too concerned about cellulite. I think I like have some on my legs, but I'm not the kind of girl who like really cares. It's gonna be what it is. Um, let's see. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like products like these don't actually work, but obviously I've never tried one, so who am I to talk? So, 
I don't know, it's interesting. It will probably end up sitting on my shelf indefinitely, so I might try and see if anyone, one of my friends or something, someone wants it, and I'll probably give that one away. I can't see myself actually using that. But next we have Cocoa Tree Detangling Ghee. So, or G, I don't know how to spell, or how you say that, it's the G-H-E-E. -E. I know Melissa uses something called ghee that's like clarified butter, I believe, so I wonder if this has any relation to that. But this says it softens and detangles thick, dry hair, so I would definitely give this a try. Doesn't really say anything other than that, but yeah, that's interesting. Let's see if it smells yummy. Oh, it's closed up, I'm not gonna open it then. But yeah, fun. <laughs> Okay, next up we have, it looks like another lip product, another Kat Von D lip product <laughs> in another color that I'm probably never going to wear. So it's this brown, oh no, it's not a lip product. Lock it concealer cream. Okay, corrector cream. So I assume it's like a concealer? I don't know. It's in deep 33 warm. I think this is a little too dark for me. I don't think this would work as a concealer for me. I'm not even particularly that tan right now and it's like the end of summer so I don't, I think this is going to be as dark as I'm getting this year. So yeah, again, probably will give this away because I just don't think I'll be able to use it. But the last thing, oh another thing that looks like it's going to be too dark for me. <laughs> this is the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Yeah, it's foundation. That's probably going to be way, way, way too dark. Here. All right. Oh, that stinks. I would have loved to use this. That's such like a cute little packaging, though. So it stinks that. Yeah, I think that's gonna be way too dark for me. Wow. Yeah. All right. So I don't really want to like test it out in case I do end up giving it away to someone. You know, obviously for cleanliness reasons. But yeah, that's oh, that's such a cute little like foundation stick thing. I really wish it was my color, but oh well. All right, and I believe that was the last thing in there. Yep, we are all done. So I hope you enjoyed this huge Sephora play unboxing and let me know kind of what you think. I was playing with the idea of kind of from here on out maybe doing like quarterly Sephora play unboxings rather than unboxing it every single month, kind of storing it up like I did here and unboxing maybe like three at a time and show, so I would end up sharing four unboxing videos throughout the entire year. Um, that way they kind of, I feel like they kind of you know, take up a majority of my YouTube channel and that's not really what I want. So let me know your thoughts on that. I, I'm just kind of playing around with the idea. I haven't really settled on anything, but also let me know if you liked how I filmed it this time um, kind of face to face with you guys rather than normally I do it face down and you kind of just see my hands, you know, taking everything out of the box. So let me know your thoughts on that. Did you like this? Did you prefer the other way? Uh, I always love hearing your guys' feedback and what you like seeing in my videos, so definitely leave me in the comments below what you would prefer to see in the future. And other than that, I think that's it, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I post videos whenever I can, you know, about lifestyle stuff. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot of home-related stuff since I am buying my first house soon, and so I have some videos planned for that that I am super excited about, and I also have a couple of wedding videos that I have kind of, you know, been wanting to film. I just haven't had a chance since the wedding, but I am planning on still getting those up for you guys. And let me know if there's any videos that you particularly want to see, and I will see if I can get those filmed for you guys. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!